Yeah, it's on. Okay. Good day, everyone. God bless you. I just want to read scripture concerning circumcision of Jesus, and uh, I'm reading from Luke 2:21, and it says that, and when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Jesus is presented in the temple. Now, when the days of purification according to the law of Moses was completed, they brought Jesus to Jerusalem and presented him to the Lord. As it, as it is written in the Lord of the Lord, every male who opens a womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pig pigeons. Now Simon sees salvation. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. I'll say this again, the Holy Spirit was upon him and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. Now, Simon was in a relationship with God and the word of God came to him and said that he would be, Jesus would be revealed, salvation would be revealed and he would not die before he had seen the Lord Christ. So he came by by the Spirit into the temple and when the, the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he looked him he looked him up he took him up into his arms and blessed God and said Lord now you are letting your servant depart peacefully according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation so here's Jesus he's eight years old Jesus has revealed to Simon uh, God has revealed to Simon Jesus who's a salvation to the world and the Christ for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people. And he said, the light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. So here's Jesus, he's a baby. He's presented into the temple to receive his circumcision according to the law and Simon who is um, under the Holy Spirit received Jesus and thanked God for allowing him to see who the Christ was and to see the salvation of all the Gentiles and the world and right from the very beginning it was proclaimed that Jesus was the Christ the Redeemer and it was revealed what's very important in here is not only that Jesus was revealed but if you need to know the truth and you want Jesus to be revealed to you the only way that's going to be revealed to you it's not through being a believer or just a religion a religious person without the Holy Spirit you will not come to the true knowledge and the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Without the Holy Spirit, God will not reveal Jesus to you. The knowledge of Jesus isn't enough for your salvation. It, it's about having pers a personal revelation between you and God. You need to spend time with God in person in order for these things to be revealed to you. It's the same for your walk of life. Without the Holy Spirit and without you spending time with Jesus, with God and Jesus every day, you're not going to see what's going on in the world. You're not going to discern 
what's happening in the spirit, the good and the bad. You will not get direction to your life and you will not know God personally without the Holy Spirit. That's why it's so important to be born again and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, know the Holy Spirit personally, walk in his power and come to know Jesus. Now scripture says that God reveals Jesus to you and Jesus is the one who reveals the kingdom and God the Father. So if you're walking in knowledge, you don't know. Without the Holy Spirit, you don't know. Without the Holy Spirit, you will not get to heaven. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no salvation. No Holy Spirit, no Jesus, no salvation. That's why the Holy Spirit is so important. Make your mind to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Saviour today and ask the Holy Spirit with his power to fill you, to become part of you. And you can do that right now as I share this prayer. Just come to God in repentance, acknowledge that you're a sinner, acknowledge the works of the cross and be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Come to the foot of the cross now. Come to Jesus and receive him and say this prayer. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me. He was crucified and that he rose again from the dead. Ask Jesus into your heart now. Receive the Holy Spirit in power. The person of Jesus and the love of God. In the name of Jesus, amen.